action. Oh, hello there. Nice to see you again. Let's talk about the seven characteristics of life. Number one, reproduction. Congrats. You have given birth. All living organisms have the ability to reproduce. Living things make more organisms like themselves, whether that organism is a plant, bacteria, or someone like you, uh, life will create more life. Number two, evolution. Amazing. It has your eyes. Like every living thing, humans evolve through small changes. Uh, living things evolve adaptations which are characteristics that help them to survive. Now characteristic number three is growth. Now, this baby may look small now, but as it ages, it will grow up. All living organisms have the ability to grow and to change. Now the changes that are happening in your own body are following specific instructions which are coded by your own genes. Characteristic number four are cells. A cell is the basic unit of structure and function in all living organisms. Organisms that are very different, such as a plant, a fish, or a giraffe, all look similar at the cellular level. Now you might not think so, but an egg is actually only one cell. Now organisms that are made up of only one cell are called unicellular, whereas two or more cells would create a multicellular organism. Now, our fifth characteristic of tonight's program will be homeostasis. All living organisms have the ability to regulate temperature. Hey! Don't worry, your body will figure it out. If you're walking around in the cold and the temperature might be below freezing, you're not going to turn to ice. You shiver, and that movement in your arms and in your legs, well, it keeps your body warm. Living organisms keep their internal environments within a certain range, despite changes to their external environment. Now, this helps them maintain a stable internal condition. Now, our sixth characteristic of the night is metabolism. All living things need energy. Now, different organisms take in and process that energy differently. For example, eating food for us humans, well, it can give your body the energy it needs to stay warm. While humans may eat food, other organisms such as plants take in energy differently from the sun. Now, our final characteristic for the evening is number seven, response to stimulation, otherwise known as sensitivity. All organisms can react differently to uh, certain types of stimulation. For example, plants can grow and stretch to reach sunlight, and humans can attempt to avoid some stressful situations. Now this is due to either their instinctive behavior, which uh, are inborn, or their learned behavior, which comes from observation and experience. Well, thank you for coming along with me. Till next time. Stay living.